And we are back, guys. So, in this episode, we're going to be doing the playoffs, and yeah. So, let's just jump right on into this. Um, I do think that we should get by the Sharks, but can't really be too sure right about now. So, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of expecting the worst, but hoping for the best, you know what I mean? So, right off the bat, we'll just see our first period, so... Evrat does get us on the board, but Marlowe does get the equalizer. So, I mean, can't be too upset with that. Um, second period, okay, same exact thing, except Lombardi and... Um, I know it's Galliardi, but I don't know his first name. So, let's just resume this, and let's see how it goes. Come on, guys, let's kill it off. Here we go, kill it off. Ah, uh, we give up one from Pavelski. Come on, we need a goal here. Let's get a goal, get a goal, come on, and no. So we do lose the first game 3-2, to two, but I mean, hey, it was probably a really hard-fought game. Uh, I bet you there's a bunch of penalties on both sides, though. But Pecorino, he did stop 32 shots, so I will give him that. Okay, so um, I don't want to change up the lines. We That was definitely a good game. The only thing I could think of is maybe putting changing up the D, but I still don't think that would change much. So we'll try simming this game and see how it goes. Okay, first period. Okay, 0-0, zero, zero, not bad. Okay, um, second period. Oh, 2 nothing. Jeez. Marlowe and Dehardans. Okay, so hopefully, I mean, we got to get at least one or two quick. Okay, that was a nice missed opportunity by us. Okay, and it looks like we're going to get shut out. Yep. <sighs> okay, so let's change up the defense really quick. I mean, I just don't know what is up with our team sometimes. Um, what can we even do with our team? I don't even know. Let's just check it out. Uh, coaching options. So what I think we could do is maybe move Craig Smith into Ennis' spot. Move Ribeiro into the middle. Okay, and then that, that seems to be fine. We need Kessel to wake up. And I guess we can move Blum with Delzato. And hopefully that does something for us. Maybe we should check out our power play, too. Um, I kind of want Craig Smith over here. We could have Sagan in the middle. That's fine. And that does look to be okay. That's uh, all fine. And, okay, we just need Pecorino to stand on his head, basically. And our offense, mostly Phil Kessel. And our defense uh, wake up a little bit. <sighs> okay, so let's see let's see how this goes. If we don't get the win here, I'm basically calling it a loss of a series because we are getting our ass kicked. We go down 3 nothing. Okay, so first period. Okay, we do get up on the board first. We get uh, Tyler Sagan scores. Okay, good. He finally got his head out of his ass. Okay, second period. Okay, so they come right back with Joe Pavelski getting a goal on Rene. So hopefully we can come out with a win here. All we need is Pecorino not to give up any goals, and then maybe Phil Kessel will wake up. Rene's getting a lot of shots against right now. Oh, God. Come on. Okay, so we're in OT, and we lose. Joe Thornton. Oh, man. I don't really know what to do with our team. I can't think of anything. This is not good. I mean, look at that. Pecorino stood on his head. He, he, saved fuck, he saved fucking 44. No, 43 shots. I mean, how many how many more saves do you want the guy to make? We lose 2-1. to one? Like, we can't score any more goals. Um, yeah, we'll just go for it. I mean, another first-round exit would be awful. I mean, at least maybe win one game. Like, I don't I don't really know what our team is doing right now. Hopefully, though, we can make a nice comeback. 
Okay, first period. Okay, one to one. Uh, Sagan gets another goal and Braun scores for them. Second period. Okay, so we get two. We got Lada and Erat, but they get one back with Couture. So all we need is for Rene to not give up any goals. And then we're fine. We finally get our first playoff win here. Okay, come on, Rene. You can do it. Make some big saves here. Oh, my God. Logan Couture on the penalty kill. He scores on the penalty kill. Oh, my God. Oh, now we're going back to OT. Come on. Come on. Let's, where's Phil Kessel at? Let's get Phil Kessel in the mix. Come on. Oh, my God. We had a power play. That was a great chance. Come on. Kessel. Double OT. Come on. Oh, my God. Pavelski. You have got to be kidding me. Joe Pavelski probably had five goals on us. Jesus Christ, guys. I mean, seriously. Like, what am I supposed to do? I, every time every time we're in a game. Shea Weber. Eight hits. Good, good for you. Get a goal. But Logan Couture kind of killed us with that third period PK goal. Uh, that just pisses me right off. So you know what? We'll uh, we'll just show you guys who won Stanley Cup. Oh my God! You know what? I'm probably just gonna trade away a bunch of our assets. I might trade away Rene for um. Some of you guys were saying that we should. Trade away Rene for Luke Shen and Reimer. But I don't know. I don't know if Reimer would be a good goalie for us at this point. So I'm not sure yet. That, that just pisses me right off, though. How do we just lose four, four fucking straight games? And we're up in the third period, too. Okay, no, you don't. This is not a good year. We make the playoffs and we get... Back-to-back -back years, we get fucking swept in the first round. That's not what you want to look for. That's bad. Just because we make the playoffs doesn't do us any good. Fucking A. I mean, come on. Like, we can't win one damn game in the playoffs. Like, seriously. I'm pretty sure it's not that hard. We won 43 in the regular season. But, I mean, it's, it is what it is, so I can't really... Can't complain about it now. It's already over. I just hope that it doesn't keep carrying over to every season where we just go to the playoffs and get destroyed. I don't understand. And they're all like pretty close games. I think our closest, I think our uh, um, the game that was most separate was like three to one, and they scored two in the first period. So I can't really be mad at Rene. He the most goals he gave up in a game was four, and it was double OT. So, I mean, that's nothing nothing had to do with him. What do you mean? Like, fuck. Like, what do I have to do to get a win? Oh, God. So, I don't know what to do. Um, we just need to get, like, some better second liners. Hopefully, Shinkrook got a lot better. That That's actually a nice upside. And the Winnipeg Jets win the Stanley Cup. That's probably due to a lot of Vander, uh, Evander Kane just because he's probably progressing. He's probably like over 90 overall, maybe 92, I'd say. At least I would say maybe 88 to 89, but um, I'm not sure yet. So hopefully we can just sign all the players that we want to, to want that we want to sign back. And yeah, but I do think, I don't think we need to. Um, Signing a lot, a lot of people. But yeah, actually, so it's only been about nine minutes. I'll go through the draft, and then I'll show you how much Shinkrook has improved. So yeah, that'll be a nice plus. Did we get any? Um, did anybody retire from our team? No one should have retired, but I can't be sure. Okay, so Sutton, McGratton. That's good. We didn't need McGratton anymore. So we need a fourth liner. And a defenseman. Okay, that's it. Um, who else retired? So, no one big that I can see yet. And yeah, I don't think anybody big retired. Okay. Well, uh, no, we do not need to play in the prospect game. We might. I actually know Adam Ernie. Like, he lives 
15 minutes from where I live currently right now. He obviously right now lives in Quebec because he plays for the Ramparts. But I do want to draft him. I kind of, if I can draft him, I would definitely try it. So maybe we might draft him just because of how I basically know him. I think that would be pretty cool. So we don't need to, we don't need to make any trades right now. Hopefully he doesn't get drafted. I don't think he will, cause yeah, but we don't have a bunch. Of, we don't have a lot of draft picks in this round. I totally forgot that. Um, I don't know if he's still there, so I can't make a trade for a draft pick right now. Hopefully he doesn't get taken. If he does, maybe I'll make a trade for him. Yeah. Okay. So let's just quick sim this. Still no draft pick. Oh my god. Still don't know if he got taken, so I can't can't really take him yet. Okay, so we got the 18th draft pick. If he's still here, that's amazing. This is the only one I'm actually going to show you guys because after this, I think it's basically pointless. So if he's still here, that'd be really cool. So we want to go to the QMJHL. Oh, he's still here. Oh, he's a... Oh my god, that's so bad. He's only a two-star two potential. Oh, man. That's rough, dude. You know what? I'm still going to take you, though. Just because I, I know who he is. So it, it just it kind of it just kind of like funny how it works out. I don't know why I just didn't hit auto-draft right there. So it's my bad. Let me just shut down the phones, and I'll do that now. Yes, auto-draft. Okay. So we only had a fourth-round pick that I did. I don't even think we had anything else with that. Maybe we had like a fifth and a sixth. I'm not too sure. But yeah, let's just uh, let's go to the contract stage, and we can see how everybody progressed. Um, we'll just go to the contract screen. Okay, so let's check it out. So Kessel got up to an 89. Sagan's still at 85, but he's only 22, so that's still fine. Uh, Craig Smith got up to 84, which is definitely good. We do need a sign Kessel, though. That's going to be a steep contract. Um, I don't think we need to sign anybody else, though. That's, like, really... I mean, Ryan Ellis is... We should probably try to keep him. Hopefully, Phil Kessel doesn't want too much. Where's Shincrook? Hunter Shincrook. Where are you at? Don't tell me that you didn't... Oh my god, you only went up three overall. You played on the second line more than half the year. Jesus. Um Okay, well how we'll, we'll put Shinkrook on the first line in the AHL. That that seems more of a better fit for him. So here we'll just sign Ernie to a minor league deal, that's fine. Uh, we'll do Walters. And who's the other guy? I think, is that it? Um, no, we have to sign this guy. What's his name? Brett Kulak. We'll sign you. And how much does Kessel want? Because we might have to get rid of a couple of people. I just want to see how much he wants. Hopefully it's not like way out of my ballpark. Okay, that's reasonable. I could probably, if I give him more, does he want more? Okay, so if I give him less, he still wants more. So if I give him six, that's cheap as I can go. So I bet you I can get him for eight million. But do I even have eight million? That's the problem. Let's try seven. We'll try this. This will probably work. Okay, so we'll just advance the day. But I do think this should work. If not, then I don't want to give him up because he's such a good player. But we may have to. This could be a problem. But I think I think this could be fine. Okay, so we got a veteran GM. So let's just we'll just look at this really quick. Um but yeah, okay, wait, hold on. We should definitely boost up our 
amateur scout and this scout and that's fine right there okay confirm purchase and exit okay so we'll advance another day oh sorry that's my phone guys oh jesus siri um okay so yes so we did get them for just exactly what we needed okay we got ernie that's fine walters that's fine and the coal lock that's fine now that was really easy um we have two million left so that might be enough to get an a pretty good second or third liner not sure um fang yeah we don't really need you anymore we'll just release you um about valentine uh we'll just wait um hold on uh ben ryan okay hold on so um yeah i think i'll just i'll just do everybody else's contracts that i do need um off off camera and then yeah so you guys don't have to be bored about that so until next time peace